G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Continuing with yesterday's video of getting uh, OpenBSD to run as a local primary, private primary domain controller, I should say. And for this video, I'm going to explain the network topology I've got set up here at home to give you an idea of how I've got everything running. Now, this is not a standard setup. I'll be upfront and honest with you, this is very, very much not a standard setup. Currently at home, I have the ability to run two separate and independent networks. And once I get the e-server up and running, it will still stay as two separate and independent networks. Currently, the modem, which is obviously my gateway to the world, is running my everything. However, with changing a couple of blue leads and a white lead, this will be the gateway. Now, let me explain. Once I get the e-server up and running, I'm going to have two separate networks. The other half will just connect to the modem directly. Her laptop, her phone, and the PC I'm going to build her once I get around to building it will connect directly to that, to the modem. She wants nothing to do with all of this, okay? She just wants to be able to do what she does, which is fine, okay? She doesn't need, she doesn't want access to the web server, she doesn't want access to the clouds, nothing. So she's going to directly connect straight to the modem. Whereas with me, I'm going to have Endian behind the modem and then all my stuff will connect to OpenBSD. As I said, changing a couple of white wires and blue wires out here, I'll be able to go straight into the firewall. Now, so what will happen is the modem's going to be the front end of everything. I'm going to come off OpenBSD, so... That's my ESXi server, all my computers, my QNAP drive down there, the media player upstairs, the whole lot will come off OpenBSD. All my stuff will get its authentication, its storage services, everything from OpenBSD. So my network is going to sit behind Endian. The other half is going to sit behind this. Now, you're probably saying, well, why don't you put her behind Indian? Well, maybe I will, but at the moment... This is going to be my everything. So, change a couple of wires here. You see, I've got a white wire, I've got a white Cat5 there, and I've got two more blue Cat5s, and then I've also got a um, phone line there too. So, that's the modem. So, essentially, I'm going to be the only one behind Endian. Okay? The other half wants nothing to do with the, the, the private PDC that I'm going to have running here, she just wants to have her own private network, which is fine. So now, let me show you from here, how I get to the workshop. So here's one blue lead that is currently running out and into the garage or workshop. There's the blue lead that runs into the, into the modem. There's another blue lead bundled up down there that will go back from the cabinet back into the office. And then this thing is going to be everything for me, right? So domain A running obviously my cloud service and my personal web service and everything like that. And domain C running the public web hosting and cloud hosting services as well. We're not worrying about domain C at the moment. We're worrying about domain A. So... Essentially, the topology will be from the modem. Now, this is this is web access. The topology will be, and this is the way I've been trying to get it going, if we can do it, will be everything to OpenBSD, OpenBSD into Endian, Endian to the modem. Now, the modem currently is open, okay? I've got the firewall on that set to a small amount of protection, Meantime, as you know, with the amount of cyber security protection I've got in this place with antiviruses and malware um, prevention, it's all right. But Endian is going to be my firewall for all my stuff. So I've got uh, Endian set up with three different uh, independent NICs running three different subnet and IPs, which you can do with Endian because you've got a DMZ plus a blue interface as well, which is already set. So... The topology will be modem to Endian, Endian to OpenBSD, and then everything um, will get DACP, DNS from OpenBSD, but a gateway of Endian. 
Now, if that's not right, tell me. Because judging by what I've read, what's supposed to happen, and I think I, I remember all this, but the computers connect to the switch. No, sorry. The computers connect to the switch. The switch connects to Nick uh, CAS1. That's NAT translated to CAS0, and CAS0 goes up to Endian, um, which is vaguely, now I remember, the right way of doing it. But someone will be able to tell me if I've buggered that up. Nevertheless, so that's the current network topology here at home. Now, or that's what the topology will be. The current topology is that everything is coming off the modem initially, except for here. All right? Now, Endian gets its um, WAN access. So it gets a DHCP from the red interface, I'm sorry, which is your WAN interface. It gets a DHCP, DNS, and gateway from the modem. Okay? Then the green interface, which is my LAN interface, which I've statically assigned, is automatically NAT translated or NATed between... Uh, Nick zero and Nick one of the in onboard uh, Ethernet cards within the um, Indian firewall. So hopefully that sort of makes sense as to what's happening. Now I'm going to get back into this thing today, uh, not right at this point in time, because you can probably tell the vision's a bit more shaky than usual. That's because it is bloody cold out here this morning, and I'm standing here shivering. So at the moment, my modem is controlling most of everything. But once we get this up and running, the only thing the modem's going to control is the other half, right? She just wants to have her own little tiny setup coming off the modem, which is fine. Whereas I will be coming off this great lummox. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how I've got things currently set and how I will get them set once I get this thing going. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.